Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Today I got a beer from Cloudwater and this is their Fire by the Binds. It's a double IPA, I think a double IPA, 8% ABV, pretty sure it's a double. Yeah, a double New England IPA then, no less, according to Untapped. Um, there's a bit of information about the beer there if you want to pause it. There we go. So it's a 440ml can then. It was canned on the 26th of September of 2019. Best by the 15th of January of 2020. So I'm reviewing this on the 15th of November. Let's crack it open then. This beer was kindly sent down to me from my brother and extremely good friend Peter over at the Clueless Drinker. So check his channel out down below. Beer in a glass. I actually had this beer in early October at the uh, barrel, the, the Cloudwater tap or the new tap barrel store wherever it is now, straight after Indie Man session. And actually by that point I'd had a few beers to be fair and but I remember this being pretty damn good even though I've had a few. So yeah Nice to try this again, sober as well. Look at that. That looks absolutely fantastic. There's no light hardly coming through this haze at all. It's a not even a half a finger, a pure white head just covering the top of the beer. But it looks really kind of like mango, sort of gloopy sort of IPA, just by the eye. So let's give it a swirl and a sniff. Cloud water, incidentally, which you probably do know, but some of you might not. They're out of Manchester in the UK. Aroma. Oh. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting like mango, papaya, some earthiness, unripened pineapple. Yeah, maybe like pineapple jelly chunks, or just pineapple chunks. Yeah, definitely jelly though. It's got that kind of slight sweetness going on as well. Yeah, maybe mango pulp, but not overpoweringly so. Smells absolutely lush. Let's give it a try then. Cheers. Oh, got that sharpness going on. You can tell it's a bigger beer, not through the ABV, just through the, the general, like the body and feel of the beer, rather than the ABV. The mouth feel is, it's very smooth, but it's bold. Lovely creamy head now, just reinforcing it with that last bit in the can. Oh, fantastic. It's not it's not a massive aroma, but it's it's subtle, but be careful with that subtleness. When you come to drink it, it's straight out of the fridge as well. There's a slight kind of dryness in this. Um, is there any information? They used to list all the malts, all the hops on their cans. Now, you just get aroma and flavour notes, you get the body, and then you get the aftertaste. But there's no mention of any hops, I don't think. Um, no. Uh, the allergens in this are gluten, wheat, barley and oats. It's good. Every hazy beer like this is going to have oats in it. Vegan friendly. Um, store at 5 degrees. Hops fade fast. Um, incidentally the photography is by uh, Paul Jones um, when they are out in New Zealand earlier this year, was it? April this year. 
and uh, fire by the barns. Apparently, as you already read, um, a fire, blah, 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 remaining, a few remaining binds illuminating the faces of growers, farmers, processing experts, and a few of the world's best brewers. I like, I like that. That's just a little subtle, subtle hint. And it's, it's true. Th these guys are some of who brew this beer, or the Cloudwater Brewers are among the best in the world. So, but I like they put that in there. It's a dangerous beer. You're not picking up the ABV. It's just the body. That's the only thing that gives it that kind of lift, sort of don't muck around with me kind of beer. And I probably did muck around with this beer back in early October because I drank it like, oh yeah, that's great. And then like gulp down an 8% beer. I didn't realise it was 8% of the time. Um, it's one of the newer releases back in early October. And... Yeah, I got pretty trashed that day, but yeah, it was a good, good old, good old weekend. Gloopy, it's gloopy, it's thick. I'd say it's the upper end of a medium body, going into maybe the lower end of a full body territory, sort of on that borderline crossover sort of point. But yes, yeah, it's, it's it's a it's a pretty damn good haze to that one. In terms of rating then, I mean, there's other flavours coming through all the time. Give it one more taste. It's slightly sweet to start with, and it, but it's a kick. My, my palate's got used to it. But when I first tried it, it was like, mm, sharp, bitterness on the back end, very well kind of balanced. Very well, kind of rounded beer. Flavour-wise, th th there are these aspects of these general kind of flavours you get with, with with these styles of beers, and I find myself repeating myself all the time because they're all that sort of thing. Um, I'm just perhaps I'm not picking out certain little subtleties in these beers, but the general thing I find with these beers, although they're fantastic, they're all that sort of vibe. Maybe the malts are different, sharpness here, the sharpness there, or whatever. Um, this is this is this beer is on fire. Great, pardon me, great beer. Um, nice to try it sober. Um, I don't know what I gave this in my drunken state back a few well last month. I'm going to give this probably I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 um, so 4.25 on the untapped scale over to untapped this is like wow this had a lot of people have had this which is which is uh, surprising perhaps not surprising these days um, being at Cloudwater 3,208 actual total check-ins on this one then. It's had 1,172 in the last 30 days. Um, so 8% ABV, there's no IBUs listed on, on untapped. Um, it's had 2,849 ratings, so you're kind of approaching 3,000 mark. Which for a uh, one of um, Cloudwater's kind of special uh, releases which they've got their little core range going on now which is cool but they do, they do a lot of beers like, randomly blah, blah 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 that's a lot I think that's a lot um, and it's coming in after like 2849 ratings at 4.17 that's impressive that's damn impressive this is a 425 for me um, I've had better from these guys but this is still a very rarely I, I have a cloud water beer not that I have loads I used to have loads when they first come out all the time you could keep up with all that sort of thing then um, back in the bottle days as soon as I went to canning just gave up um, as you know I've got old bottles there that I've got to take downstairs so we'll be moving eventually um, 
but yeah fantastic beer um, if you get any kind of cloud water beers you like the style of beer then you're not going to be disappointed that kind of jazz um, so yeah let me know I've had it before um, this is a fire by the Bynes 8% double New England IPA thank you very much to my good friend Peter over at the Clues Drinker please do check him out and subscribe to his channel he's a lovely guy, awesome really do appreciate it mate and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.